After six turbulent years with Team Sky, Johnny Moscon made the move to Astana, Kazakhstan in 2022 in hopes of kickstarting his career. But things didn't go to plan for the former Italian national champion. It has been two really tough years for me. I really didn't get anything because it was only bad, bad races, bad results. I started my experience with Astana. It was great, first thing, but great. And the team atmosphere also was nice. But sadly, I got COVID right before the start of the racing season in 2022. I was three weeks quite bad, really in the bed and uh, quite sick. And then I started training and I had to come back to racing really quick. I was not fully recovered from the COVID. That was the problem, uh, racing too, too early, uh, too much. Easy to lose one year. Second year the same, go to Australia. I break my collarbone straight away, come back, and then straight after already racing. Racing, 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 no time to train. And you start to get always more tired. Your body don't react anymore. You, you are at the end of the season and you collect only DNF. I was really happy when I finished Giro di Lombardia in 2023. I was another person. I was so happy that everything was over. <laughs> uh, at that moment, I was really thinking, uh, I, Better than do another year in this situation, I prefer to stop cycling. I go to work on my farm, no stress anymore. I couldn't see the bike anymore. I was used as a rider to be part of the race, be in the first part, riding in the front, or be competing for the win. That's the cycling I, I love. So if I want to continue in cycling, I want to be in a good team, in a big team. And uh, that's, uh, I think, the best team I could have been is, is Quick Step. At the end of 2023, Moscon found himself facing a tough choice. Until Patrick Lefebvre made him an offer to join Sudal Quick Step for the season ahead. I came here, people are confident in me, maybe more than I was when I joined the team. From the first day, uh, I felt part of the team. Everybody wants the best and um, you feel that this energy that motivates you and for me it's a big, uh, big change and uh, I needed something big to, to find the motivation again. At the 2021 edition of Paris-Roubaix, Il Trattore seemed to be on target for victory. With just 30 kilometers to go, the Italian was over 1 minute and 15 seconds ahead of the rest of the field. Big news from the front of the race. I'm afraid that Gianni Moscon has suffered quite the misfortune and his gap is already starting to disappear. No, 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 no. How many incidents and bad luck all over the race now for poor Gianni Moscon. All set to make history. Despite enduring disaster within touching distance of glory, the 29-year-old still regards the race with fondness. I have a special relationship. You need a lot of endurance. It's like a natural selection. Uh, you don't need big, short uh, power, but it's more about endurance and I always liked. From outside, you always look at quick step and you think uh, how they can do, how they uh, can ride so well. Like, uh, can they always be in the right spot, in the right moment? And being here now and uh, I can get the advantage, advantage from, from them, from their experience. For me, it's a big motivation. I'm really looking forward to see where I can, uh, where I can be in the Classic with this team. They have the seconds and it's Pogaccio who launches the sprint early. Pogaccio trying to surprise them. Not many riders can compete with these superstars, but you have to try uh, another way to anticipate them or maybe play your card smarter. And, and try to find your spot. But everybody else to find another way and uh, I will be with the, with the rest of the, of the peloton. 